In this video, you'll combine a series of simpler shapes using Pathfinder FX and the Shape Builder tool to complete this logo. With the latest version of Illustrator CC open, open this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial so you can follow along. Then choose View, Fit All in Window so you can see everything. You'll start by combining some shapes using the Shape Builder tool to create the centerpiece of a logo. With the selection tool selected, drag across the circles here to select them. To zoom in a bit, press Command and Plus on Mac OS or Control and Plus on Windows a few times. Select the Shape Builder tool in the Tools panel on the left. Now the Shape Builder tool lets you combine or remove shapes you select. So start from off the left side of these shapes and drag through these three shapes to start, then release. You just combine them into one shape. Now let's finish the rest. So drag from this newly combined shape to the remaining shapes you see here. When you release the mouse, the shapes are combined. To remove the rest of these shapes, you can press the Option key on Mac OS or the Alt key on Windows, and when you see a minus sign on the pointer, drag through the remaining shapes. Release the mouse button, and then the key. You now have a single shape for the logo. Select the Selection tool, and drag this new shape into the center of the circle down here. Then drag across both to select them. Now another method for combining shapes in different ways with actually more options available is using Pathfinder effects. You can see some of the Pathfinders in the Properties panel on the right with the shapes selected. To remove the front shape from the circle permanently, click minus front here. It essentially subtracts the front shape from the shape behind. Now to finish this center part, drag the small white shape into place, then drag across all these objects and group them together by clicking the Group button in the Properties panel. To move over, press the space bar and drag in the document window so you can see the rest of these shapes. This remaining content needs to be combined in different ways, so you'll explore some of the other pathfinders to finish it. Here you'll see two circles and a rectangle behind them. This will become a headband for some headphones. So drag across the circles to select them. To remove where they are overlapping each other, click the Exclude option in the Properties panel. Now with this new shape selected, press the Shift key and click the rectangle to select it as well. The rectangle will be used to remove the bottom half of this circular shape. To see more Pathfinders, click More Options in the Pathfinder section of the Properties panel. There are a whole bunch here you can try. Click minus back to remove the rectangle shape from the circular shape. The rectangle is behind the circular shape or the back shape. Now the three circles over here, they're supposed to become the earpieces for the headphones. So drag across those shapes to select them. Click more options in the Pathfinder section of the panel. Now we can't choose minus back because the circle in the back would only be removed from one of the circles. So click divide to divide the shapes where they intersect. Then press the escape key to hide the panel. Since applying divide creates a group, click ungroup to access the individual objects. Then you can drag and even delete by pressing backspace or delete these shapes. You can actually see how it's divided them up. Drag this headband you created onto this artwork. Select both objects and group them. To finish the logo, choose View, Fit All in Window, drag the artwork onto the artboard on the right, and press Command and Plus on Mac or Control and Plus on Windows a few times to zoom in. Then drag the artwork into position. Using the Shape Builder tool or Pathfinder effects, you can easily take simpler objects and create more complex artwork from it. So why don't you try experimenting a little bit with other simple shapes you create to try and come up with something creative for the center of the logo. You can close the open file by choosing File, Close, and save it if you like. 